Hey guys, how's it going? It's me. I am here to talk to you. Para todos que estão em Portugal e querem ver este vídeo em português, podem carregar o botãozinho que diz CC. Devia estar aqui, tipo na barra onde passa o vídeo. Escolher português. E vocês podem ler tudo aquilo que eu digo. Se quiserem ver, é só fazer isso, tá? So I wasn't gonna really make any pregnancy vlogs. I don't know why, I just felt like it's gonna be such a quick time and I'm probably gonna be so busy doing other things that I wouldn't have time. But I thought it would be nice to share with you once in a while, I'm not saying I'm gonna do it all the time, what's happening and updates and certain little things I've got and how it's all going. So let's get right in. Okay, so I am in my 25th week of pregnancy, so that is six months and one week. So far, it's been a really smooth pregnancy. It's a girl. If you guys have seen my Instagram, you guys will have seen my baby bump. Um, that's the only place really that I've shared it. Basically, at six weeks, I had nausea for about five weeks after that so like six to week 11 when i went to europe it went away maybe it was like the jet lag or something i don't really know but it was not very nice i was really tired in general in that time horizontal seemed to be like the most amazing natural human position ever to be invented it was so good to lie down. I wasn't that productive in that time with the nausea and everything else that came with it and I would just eat my food really really slowly. I would literally take two hours sometimes to eat lunch just like bite by bite by bite. I didn't want to lose any weight. I don't know I just didn't think that I could afford to lose any weight so I did my very very best to deal with that. I tried all sorts of things. For me it was about eating like acidic things like lemon, pickles, cocktail onions. That was kind of what worked for me. But it wasn't a nice time, I have to say, like in in the during of the pregnancy, but whatever. As soon as I hit week 12, it just went away and I had so much more energy. I was in Portugal visiting my family. It was almost like I wasn't pregnant at all. Like none of it had ever happened. It was like a distant memory. And so all through the second trimester, which I'm finishing now, it is true what they say in my, at least for me, that it is the best trimester. Um, you definitely have much more energy. You're back to your normal self. Apart from the fact you have a belly growing, you start to feel your baby kick. You can confirm the gender. Yeah, I mean, so far so good. It's been fine. So just over six months, I am starting to develop a little bit of back pain, definitely some pelvic pain. There's a definite pain in my ass. Uh, it feels like I've been to the gym and pulled a muscle. It's in my pelvis, I think. I'm pretty sure that's normal, but it sometimes requires me to be on a little bit more bed rest or applying heat or else using a little maternity belt, which is something that you put around your back and it just supports your belly a little bit and helps take some of the pressure off of the lower back and pelvis. So that's been happening. It's kind of better, but it comes and goes. We'll see. So now that that's out of the way, I wanted to show you a couple of little things that I've got for our baby girl. Some of the products that um, I've been using on my skin, especially on my belly. I'm obviously not gonna show you everything that I have. I'm just gonna show you an overview because I have a lot of little clothes and very cutesy, ootsy, ootsy, ootsy things for her. I literally, it would be too long to show you everything. So the first thing that I really bought when I found out I was pregnant was clothes. I have gotten various things from various places, including uh, Baby Gap, which is really nice for newborn stuff. Actually, Baby, Baby Gap is really nice for generally for baby clothes. And Marshalls, which is kind of like a discount store if you don't know what that is. I'm not that interested in like labels and designer shit. I just want some cute clothes for my baby girl. Other things I got um, at Zara in Portugal. Okay, so this is a cute little like onesie 
from Zara in Portugal. It's got like the feet and everything. It's got little owls on it. It's very cute. This was given to us in Argentina by a family member. Again, it's a onesie, sleepy pajama thing. Shit, I didn't really bring much. <laughs> These are some cute other little tops. This is from Baby Gap. It's a polka dot onesie with no feet, I guess. And it's for three to six months because she'll be it'll be summer. Some little leggings. How cute are these? This is also Baby Gap. I saw these the other day. I think they're very sweet. I got this at Marshall's. It's just a little top for newborns, I think. I don't know. I just liked it. I'ma get it. This right here is a special piece because Rod's mama crocheted it. I think it's crochet or is it knit? Maybe it's knitted, I don't know. But it's got like a little ribbon detail. And also, you know, it's made by someone in our family uh, who's very special to me. So yeah, that'll be a nice kind of piece to keep forever. I got these in Portugal at Zara. They're so cute. They're just like little genie pants. They're kind of like a sweatpant material and they have this pocket right here in front, which is so cute. Can you see that? I think they're swag, so I want her to have swag. And I bought this little top to go with it. It's just a knit, knit little sweater thing. I don't know if we're really gonna be putting her in shoes in the first months. Definitely have socks. I crocheted these little shoes for her. Um, I just figured why not? I have so much yarn. Oh, so one thing that I really liked was the these swaddle blankets that are kind of multi-use blankets, not just for swaddling, I guess, for burping or for covering her in the stroller. And I had been looking for a while for the discounts on this brand, Aiden and Anais. Anais? I don't really know how you say that. It doesn't have an accent, so Aiden and Anais. And lo and behold, I went to Ross and I found a whole packet. Yay! The material is muslin and it's really soft and apparently gets softer with every single wash. And it comes in a set of, I think it was four, and they're all different patterns. The other one has clouds and such and easily machine washable, which is very important. I also got sent by a beautiful Portuguese brand called Gloop. Um, I will link all this below. It's really, really beautiful organic cotton. Um, again, swaddle receiving blanket. I chose the elephant pattern because I think they're so cute. I'm gonna show you. Cute thing, yeah. And there's three different sizes. There's small, medium, and large. And all three come in the same packets. I'm also crocheting her a baby blanket. These little granny squares, I make them at nighttime and at some point I will finish. Products. Other random things for the baby. We have some wipes I got off Amazon in bulk from Honest. The Dr. Bronner's like Castile soap for babies. I mean, you use just a little bit for bath time. And this is Angel Baby Bottom uh, Balm. It's basically, I guess for like diaper rash, it's an all natural ointment. Toys wise, we have some bears. Oh, I didn't know he had squeaky ears. Oh, okay. We have um, Peter Rabbit. This is my best friend who sent um, heard this for Christmas. I love Peter Rabbit. It goes way back to my childhood. We have obviously other important essentials like the stroller and a diaper bag and um, a changing table, which also has drawers so we can keep all her clothes. We have the Mama Roo Bouncer, which I bought secondhand on Craigslist. Really good find. We have a bassinet for her to sleep in. We're not doing too much with the nursery. You know, we have a really small apartment, so I don't know where everything's gonna fit. We can't really go overboard with anything. <laughs> we have to get just like what we really need, which is kind of helping us also um, curb a little bit of the spending. Last but not least, two things that I have been finding helpful for me as mama-to-be is a couple of baby books that I bought on Kindle. I will tell you really quickly which ones they are. So the books cover a little bit of everything. One of them is called Birth Skills, Proven Pain Management Techniques for Your Labor. <laughs> um, okay. It's by Juju Sundin, and it's basically a kind of non-judgmental uh, book about, you know, pain management and techniques for when you do go into labor. The second one is a book that I was really interested in called Bringing Up Bebe. It's uh, 
Pamela Druckerman, and it's about an American mother who discovers the French way of parenting. I've really enjoyed this book actually because it's not like a self-help pointer book. It's more like her story n narrated alongside all this advice and research she did. So it's not kind of like all this information about like remembering, okay, what was it that I had to do if she cries or this or that. It's like reading someone's autobiography in a way, but, but like also with all these tips and tricks. My recommendation is to go step by step with these books. There's a lot of information. Lately, I've been a little bit overwhelmed. Maybe start a little earlier. I just started now like a couple weeks ago. This is really the only product that I've been using on my skin, on my belly, for stretch marks, all that stuff. It's called Factor AE. It's vitamin A and vitamin E. Someone in Rod's family recommended this to me. It's basically just vitamin A and E, so I'm sure you can find this kind of cream the world over, maybe? It smells really nice. It's got kind of a perfumed smell to it, which is light. Be careful with anything kind of scented if you are feeling nauseous, because I know for me, that was never good if things had a, like a lot of smell, a strong smell, so. That's it, that's my overview. That's my first pregnancy vlog. <laughs> Um, God, I feel like I spoke a lot. I'm sorry. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope that I see you guys back here soon at the next video. Happy New Year and I will catch you guys on Instagram and Facebook and we'll see each other soon. Bye!